One of the most encouraging, I think, points to take away from the book of Acts are just the vast amount of people who were being converted. I know it can be very easy to think about Acts chapter 2, where about 3,000 souls were saved. Acts chapter 4, where more, you know, thousands of individuals continue to be saved. But even in Acts chapter 11, we still see the gospel, uh, we still see individuals obeying the gospel and people being added to the body of Christ. We saw the great conversion of Cornelius and his household. That story certainly stands out. And I know there are certain stories that stand out more than others, but just take note of what Luke recorded in verse number 19, 20, and 21. So then those who were scattered because of the persecution that occurred in connection with Stephen made their way to Phoenicia and Cyprus and Antioch, speaking the word to no one except to Jews alone. But there were some of them, men of Cyprus and Cyrene, who came to Antioch and began speaking to the Greeks also, preaching the Lord Jesus. And the hand of the Lord was with them. That's powerful language. It, it, makes, me re, uh, it makes me think about the book of Nehemiah, how the hand of the Lord was with Nehemiah. The hand of the Lord was with them, and a large number who believed turned to the Lord. So we still see many individuals becoming Christians, and it's just something for us to think about. These references, there's not as many as we continue in the book of Acts, but make no mistake about it, there are still individuals who are being saved. And so while it's easy to focus on the, big, the bigger events, maybe like Acts chapter 2, or Acts chapter 10, or maybe even Acts chapter 8, Take note of this, uh, that we, what we find as we continue to read, that the hand of the Lord was upon his people. They were being uh, blessed. Souls were being saved. Again, this is a reminder for us that there's work to do. It may not be 3,000 individuals in one day. It may not even be three individuals in one day or even in one month. But one person that is saved is, is, is huge. And so let's continue to think about souls that are around us and how we might be able to influence them. Take care and God bless.